lucky, lucky people. I've brought you to one of my favorite places ever in the history of me. So what we're looking at here is wild garlic. And of all the wild plants in the land, this is the best. This is the king or the queen of wild crops. Look at how abundant it is here. I mean, there's acres and acres and acres of it. Um, it's called Allium ursinum. So ursinum means bear, so that's bear's garlic. And what people believed was that the bears coming out of their hibernation would be woken up by the smell of the wild garlic and they would roll out of their caves and start munching, basically. Now, the, the really good thing about wild garlic is it's very good for your digestive system. So just as the bears reputedly eat it, it's really good for us to, to have to kind of get our system going after a sluggish winter. You'll see here that um, although most of the garlic we can see around here don't have flowers on yet, there are a few that are just coming out. So you'll see little white flowers with six petals. Sometimes people think the flowers are not edible, but they are. After the flowers have, have gone, you'll see little Sputnik um, shaped um, seed heads. Those are also edible and can be used as a spice. And the best bit of all, of course, I think, are the leaves. You can just munch on those anytime you want. We made a delicious pesto from them. For me, the thing that just gives me goosebumps about wild garlic is that it grows in ancient woodland. So ancient woodland with a river running through, like we've got here, the kind of place that you would see um, bluebells and wood anemones. And I know that if I take my boots off and I stand here like this, although right now I have to tell you my feet are standing on some some, some quite hot, sharp, sharp holly leaves. I know that my feet standing here are standing in the same footsteps as another human being thousands and thousands of years ago. And that, for me, is what the connection with nature is all about. So it's a connection between wild places, human beings, and our yearning to be free.